I've got a big thing at the moment because I know obviously you do the Ciroc Boy stuff. Yeah, there's loads and, of stuff, yeah. But then obviously you're a DJ as well. I'm out a DJ. Yeah, so um, like my thing at the moment, obviously since Choice FM changed over to, to what is it now? Capital Ooh, Extra. Extra or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And obviously we've got one extra but they ain't really on radio, like yeah. not on um, FM. FM. Mm -hmm. So like now there isn't really like a national radio station that covers urban music on a day-to-day -day basis like that other than obviously well, Trace FM was never national either so let's not get it twisted they were it was based in just London mm. um, and you know but it's what we kind of grew up on and and we kind of know for uh, known for for being a black station but there are others you know I'm on Bang Radio mm. and we are the only black station black owned as well mm. uh, in Northwest London and you know, like one man's failure is another man's gain, isn't it? So yeah, I, yeah. I'm kind of glad that, that, I was, that I was, there's no choice. Yeah, so yeah. Keep it bang, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, because <laughs> obviously that that was my next question. Like, obviously now with there only being bang, yeah, as opposed to there being choice and then all the rest of them, mm. like, how do you think that's affected black artists? Well, to be honest with you, like. <sighs> See, I'm very, it's very touchy. It's this whole sub subject is very touchy. In America, I'm gonna give you the comparison. In the, in the, in America, artists respect all the DJs. Mm. In the UK, it's like I'm not saying all the artists, but there's quite a few artists that are a bit Hollywood. And what I mean by Hollywood, that they're a bit up their own asses. They don't really want to support the platforms like mm. the your company. Mm. You know, you've got other. I'm not going to plug their names in just out of respect, but you've got other, you know, um, online companies that do their things. But, you know, they, they only, you know, they get to a stage where, you know, if it's not Mr. Hoft mm. or Mr. Eastwood, mm. you know, I'm not plugging them either, but I'm sure you guys get the twist. You know, they'll support them because they're backed by, you know, a certain institution, mm. you know, when, but I always keep on telling people, man, tough times don't last, tough people do. I've seen people join institutions and get dropped mm. and they'd be hollering at people like me to put them on when they were flying that's when they should have hollered that man but you know what I ain't mad at you it's cool it's what society we're in so I think the artist needs to start respecting the DJ and the DJ needs to start respecting the artist we should be working together man control our destiny I of, think because that's that's what I think that for us obviously the UK is way behind America mm. but yeah, there isn't enough like cohesion between the artists, the DJs, and the platforms as well. Yeah, it should be one big like we should be going on like annual, once a year, going on a retreat where it's just music, girls, you know what I mean, lifestyle, talking about what's coming up. We plan. You're with the other platforms. You just rap, talking like. Remember, some platforms that are there think they made it, but they should remember where they came from. Mm -hmm. You know, they were where. The new kid in college right now has come up with that um, that new online channel was one day. Yeah. You know, so this is about embracing the future, man, and working together and controlling our destiny, man. I had the privilege of being on the red carpet at the BET um, Awards, Hip Hop Awards, and I saw the likes of like This Is 50, you know, Revolt, um, All Star, um, All Hip Hop dot com, um, loads of platforms, mm. and they all knew each other. And you know, like the battle I had is that all the artists when they'll be walking by, they had a relationship with everyone. They went to who they know and who they had a relationship with. Uh, relationships with. Mm. Myself being from the UK, I was getting air, me and my partner Jay Knox. So we had to kind of switch it up and be loud and proud. We're from Britain, you know what I mean? The pound is stronger than the dollar. Holla! <laughs> you know what I mean? And say little things that made us stand out, you know, and then you know, we just get a relationship, you know what I mean? But, you know, I don't know why we ain't got it over here. We're trying, or you know, some people might see this interview and be like, no, man, blah, 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 but they're in it. So when you're in that circle, mm. like it applies to you if you're in that circle. But what are the, what about the new star that's in the estate or you know in private school or who is, you know what I mean? Who's got the talent? What about them? Mm. Like, what do they do? They have to have ten thousand followers and gets retweets from certain members of this clique. Or that's what air, man. Like, forget that.